Back away from me now. Back away from me now. Back away from me now. It is a story that is getting more than a thousand shares tonight on Facebook. A woman who is sitting along Georgia Street with her two dogs on a busy downtown night says a man approached her saying he was going to kill her. It's what happened next, though, that brings her to share her story. Our Nicole Griffin has the message all do dog owners will want to hear. The man approached us. He was coming very fast, very, very fast. It started as a night out downtown, visiting the Circle of Lights. This photo taken just moments before the story Emily Smith is about to share. He was just continuing to say he was going to kill me, going to kill my dogs. Emily's boyfriend was inside Kilroy's while she waited outside on Georgia Street with her dogs. That's when she saw a man turn the corner and come right for her. So I started backing up, backing up. With both dogs at her side barking, she says her training kicked in. Getting the words into my dogs, it's okay, it's okay. Emily is a professional dog trainer. We can sit. Good boy. Down. And she says her dogs were protecting her the entire time. She wanted them to know she was in control, telling the man this. Back away from me now, back away from me now, back away from me now. Eventually, he ran away and she called police to report it. Her story has now been shared on Facebook 1.5 thousand times. Her message behind it. Stay alert, especially women. Never think you're less of a target with your dogs, especially big, powerful dogs, because I wasn't. And start exposing your dogs and building that communication. It's so important. You're going to you know, step back and you're going to say, do not come any closer to me. Emily's advice is great for people with dogs, but we went to the School for Self-Defense in Carmel to learn what to do if you are alone. You establish with with your words what you're in what you want so a good one is just you know please don't hurt me i like that one a lot because if they aren't trying to hurt you they'll just stop but if they don't michael valenti says take all of your fingers and fire them into your attacker's eye another skill fight back against your instincts so i grab your wrist to pull you with me right and you do something like pull your hand out right so you so you're just like you rip your hand out, out of my grasp right mm -hmm. You've done nothing to stop me from grabbing you again. Right. Right? But if instead I grab your hand and take it home with me, you take your free hand, jab it into my eye. Oh, yeah. Right? Bang. You've attacked, and now the opportunity has been given to you to run. Valenti has three important takeaways. Always pay attention to your environment. Avoid conflict and learn how to de-escalate situations to try to avoid fighting altogether. Working for you, Nicole Griffin. RTV6. And there is a free self-defense training class at the School for Self-Defense on January 25th at 6 p.m. IMPD is also holding two free classes later this month. We'll put the details on the RTV6 News app.